Grandpa, can you tell me a story? Well, I think I can tell you a story. What kind of story would you like to hear? A story with animals in it, please. Well, I think I know a story with animals in it. And in this story, the animals can talk. Okay. But mainly it's about trees. And you know what? The trees can talk too. Wow. Well, let's go over to the story chair and I'll tell you the story of the crooked forest. Okay. Why don't you sit right here, nice and close? The story chair is no ordinary chair. Oh no, there's powerful magic in here that works on your imagination. When grandpa sits down in it, the story chair's magic will help me. And not only will you be able to hear the story, you'll be able to see it as well. Ready? Let's begin. Once upon a time, there was a forest where all the trees were crooked. They had crooked trunks and their limbs and branches twisted and turned and hung down low and were crooked. The forest had amazing biodiversity. What that means is that there were a lot of other plants and animals and birds and insects that made the crooked forest their home and they all helped each other to live happily. The birds made their nests in the crooked branches and ate the bad insects that would cause harm to the trees. The squirrels would chase each other in the trees and cause dead branches and leaves to fall to the ground, where they would rot and decompose and add nutrients to the soil. And in repayment, the trees provided food for their furry friends. Some parts of the crooked forest were lush and jungle-like, and the insects and other lower life forms loved it there. The earthworms liked it there because the soft soil allowed them to dig tunnels and put air into the dirt, and that helped the trees too. All animal life was precious and necessary to the health of the forest. The ants made their home in the dead wood and were excellent housekeepers in keeping the forest clean. Every bug and every animal did their part to make their home in the forest a paradise. But it wasn't always that way, no. 
There was a time long before when the forest had many straight and tall trees. Although they were beautiful on the outside, the straight trees were mean on the inside, and they weren't very nice to the crooked trees. The straight trees would tease the crooked trees and say, Look at me. I'm straight and I'm tall and I'm better than you because you are all crooked. This hurt the crooked tree's feelings, and they crouched down even lower and got even more crooked. The straight trees puffed out their chests and became even straighter and taller as they stretched high into the sky. The cruel straight trees would brag and say, My bark is golden and beautiful, and my leaves are green and shiny. Look at you. Your bark is gray, and your leaves are dull, and you are all crooked. Pointing their long branches at the crooked trees, the straight trees added, You probably don't even understand what I'm saying, because you only speak your crooked language. Oh, but the crooked trees did understand what the straight trees were saying. Because even though they didn't brag about it, they were smart and observant, and always learning. They were quiet most of the time, and not like the straight trees who were always blabbing and bragging about how great they were. The crooked trees spent their time studying and learning the language of the birds, the animals, and the insects. This is what the trees told them. Animals of the forest, please gather around our roots. Some say that we are ugly, and yes, our bodies are crooked. But you have nothing to fear. We will protect you, and every animal is welcome to live in our crooked branches as long as you help us to all survive. Now, just like the trees, the animals had their differences as well. The more attractive animals tended to be vain and stuck up and spent more time grooming themselves than they did gathering food. The bigger and stronger squirrels said, our kind should go live in the straight trees and you smaller squirrels need to go live in the crooked trees. Even the bigger and prettier birds went to live in the straight trees and didn't allow any of the small, dull birds to go with them. I'm pretty and you're not. This went on for many years, but on one fateful day, all that would change forever, because on that day, the lumberjacks came, and the leader of the lumberjacks shouted out, cut down all the stray trees. The straight trees became frightened and started shivering and shaking their branches. The big pretty birds all flew away and became homeless. The big squirrels were shaken out of the trees and fell hard to the ground. Next, the lumberjacks cut down all the straight trees. It was a sad day for the straight trees. Their beauty could not save them. In fact, it was their beauty that caused them to become logs. Now their straightness and beautifulness would be turned into houses and furniture and even wooden toilet seats. After every straight tree was cut down, the lumberjacks hauled them away 
to build their straight cities. Only the crooked trees were left standing in the forest. And the animals and the birds and the insects living in their branches survived the great disaster that had befallen the straight trees. Somewhere out there, the crooked forest still stands, providing food, shelter, and a happy home to all that live there. So you must remember this, just because you are straight and tall and beautiful doesn't mean that you are the best. Never look down on others because they are quiet or different looking. If you take the time to get to know them, you might be surprised. They could be kind and smart and can teach you new things, even if they look a little crooked.